Hi guys, I'm here with the um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge done by Rachel over at Roxy Creations on YouTube. I will link everything below. Um, and this is one of her own challenges. It's a 45 minute challenge. And yeah, I decided to join in with the fun, but I am really late to the party because I'm on week one. And Rachel is now on week 22, I believe, ish, something like that. Because uh, Rachel's been doing this from the first week of the year. So yeah. Can you believe we're 20 odd weeks into the year already? Anyway, um, yeah, so I am not going to be doing this every single week. Um, you may get more than one a week, but sometimes you may not get any at all for a few weeks. But I will do them in order and I will try and stick to the themes as much as possible. Um, but as Rachel stated in her videos, there are no Roxy police. If we don't have the appropriate supplies we can substitute for others or just use whatever we want um you know it's just a little mini challenge it's just a bit of fun so this week well this week the first week i thought was quite appropriate to start with because um rachel used rachel's week one challenge is making super fast book page tags where you're using book pages as your base and then you're actually using book pages as the top you know you, you can use it top and back but you can still see the book page so we're using book pages to glue onto a book page yeah i know that sounds confusing to people who aren't aware um but anyway then we're using vellum to decorate now i do have vellum and i have printed on vellum but my printer does not like it um, I have to use masking tape to tape it to a normal piece of print paper or a bit thicker cardstock paper for it to take it through and even then it doesn't like it very much. So today I will be using vellum stickers. Not my own, but I will be using vellum stickers from my stash. I have loads of butterflies, I have black and white flowers and stuff. I have coloured flowers. I have mushrooms, I have tickets, which I very rarely use, so that might be interesting to try and incorporate. Then I have some just random ones, and then I have some more just random ones. These were these were a gift. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to use my vellum side of things to decorate afterwards. are going to come in the form of um, stickers, vellum stickers. Okay, so now, the reason I said this is going to be quite appropriate for me to start with, number one, is because in this bag of old music paper that I have, I have a bundle of, oh, oh and Rachel did say as well that although we're using book pages, you can also use music paper, that's why I've got that out, but this is where I keep these anyway. But I have this little bundle here of old vintage book pages that came from Rachel. And so did this pack of straw paper, which I shall be using for the back. I will be backing my tags with the straw paper. So the front of the tags will be decorated in the book pages and music paper, but the backs will all be covered in um, straw paper. So I will move the straw paper to one side. I'll just grab out a couple of sheets. So they're ready and waiting because I'm going to be up against the time so this is going to be fun. Um, I'm just going to grab out some music papers that I might want to use. Maybe I like using these big ones so I'll grab a couple of those and then maybe some in between sizes as well. Okay and then we'll put them to one side. You can do a bit of prep work before you start the challenge. Um, I know that. So, right, so straw papers, music papers, and like I said, super old music papers, super old vintage papers from Rachel herself. Let's move the vellum stickers. Um, yeah, and they're all in Italian, I think, I believe. Um, okay, well, not all of them, but yeah, they are cool. <laughs> at the text on them i kind of i've been hoarding them i've had them a while 
um, and I've been hoarding them but seeing as how I'm doing Rachel's challenge I suppose now is as good as time as any to use them look at that it's beautiful um, yeah so I still don't want to use them though but we'll get we will we'll get them some of them used okay so we can get rid of that now um, in fact I will slide that under there with that so you can see what I'm doing also a bit of a reminder not that I need it um, I'll just poke that up there a little bit I just have a sheet of um, tracing paper sellotape to my desk and on top of well that wasn't really good was it um, I wouldn't tape it it'll be easier yeah I just have this sheet of tracing paper stuck sellotaped to the desk because it takes the glare off the light above um, when I'm filming and then of course the green sheet underneath is basically it's it's nothing really a lot of people think it's because of the glare as well but it's not that's just a guide for me to know where to be when I'm filming to be in frame um but also it just adds a bit of color um but yeah so that is basically it I mean half of the time you can't really tell I've got tracing paper on the desk but um, yeah, it's just a sheet of tracing paper and as I said, this green sheet underneath is just a guide for me to know where to be so that I can film because I don't use my mats and my cutting mats now like I used to. Okay, so we have glue book. Um, we have my form with 45 minutes on the countdown and I have my trimmer ready. I have my book pages over here, I have music paper over here and I have straw paper over here. I am just going to move all these to the side of me on the left to make them easier to grab. And then I'm not faffing about and getting flustered. Um, my vellum stickers are also over there, but I will move those over here. <laughs> Just moving everything so it's closer and easier to get to my big chunky glue stick also when you're doing this make sure you've plenty of glue um, because obviously we're gluing so it's going to take a lot i have my little dinky trimmer here to the side and what i am also going to do is just quickly grab my tag punch that i use all the time so this one and let's grab that one as well um, yeah I've got two tag punches actually because once I have done these um, we will probably make tags the usual way by just trimming the edges off the top but I do like to use these tag punches and this is one this this two inch one here is like my favorite one to use um, but I'll have them to the side handy as well anyway because we may just use those okay now I am already nearly 10 minutes in and I haven't done anything but there you go and once the timer has gone off um, I will continue well, if I'm in the middle of making something I will finish making that and then we will end the video and see how far we've got but the, uh, the aim of the game is after the 45 minutes are up the, on, com, the only ones that count are ones that are completed so they need to have been glued and decorated put to one side and finished inked around if you want to ink around them Rachel doesn't ink so she said inking isn't included you can do that after sewing if you want to sew around them you can do that after as well you don't have to include them in your 45 minutes the 45 minutes just includes the making of it and then the decorating of it anything else can come afterwards so take a breath I'm really nervous um yeah, so let's get started, guys. So as you can probably see, I'm going to pull you down a little bit, then I can see um, as well as you. And I've moved this up, so it's at a weird angle for me now. Um, but you can see my clock there counting down. I have my brew ready. And okay let's go oh, we're just gonna hit start on here <laughs> let's go okay so 
I'm not aiming to do millions and millions of these, so that's quite useful. Um, should have taken the lid off my glue first. <laughs> um, yep, so I'm just going to glue these pages together because that then makes a stronger base. Uh, bone folder. Okay, this should be a relatively straightforward thing to do. Um, and because I'm going to cut mine down and use my tag punch, I can get a couple of tags out of one book page. So, oh no, I just realised I forgot to wet my cloth. Never mind. Um, can't stop now. Unless I need to. <laughs> Unless my phone rings or there's an emergency. Can't stop now. Um, yeah, I could probably get two, maybe three out of one page. So... I am going to just kind of, I don't know really, I'm going to say I'm going to like glue for 10 minutes and then, but I won't. Um, well, maybe I will. Um, actually, I could probably get loads of these done. Um, let's just glue a few of these. Um, I'm watching. I need to. <laughs> I'm clock watching. It's like I've got my clock in front of me on the tablet and I've got that to the side of me counting down. And I'm a nervous wreck already. Whoops, that went straight for it. Okay, page came off. These don't need to be glued perfect because I will sew, probably sew around them later. Um, so what, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, we'll do one more. Okay, so that should give me about 15. Okay, put the glue book away. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just snip down the side here with my trimmer because it's quite rough is that edge and this would probably be better done later but I'll do it now Get off. but yes yeah, so I just fancied doing something a little different something doable but a little bit out of my comfort zone and something different to what I already do because I kind of feel like I'm stuck in a rut and I don't seem to be able to do anything <laughs> new um I mean design team projects aside I just wanted to do something different so I don't have very much imagination when it comes to making things but I'm not very good when it comes up against the clock either, but I figured this should be, this first one especially, should be quite fun to do. So. And of course, like Rachel says, there's no Roxy police. So I'm going to take a leap, a leap, a leaf out of Sharon's book. Um, Sharon over at Paper and Lace Moments. Um, and, you know, if I only get one done, I only get one done. So what? It's, as long as I enjoy the process, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, I'll reposition you. Right, so now we have... Five, no, don't put the glue away, I need it. We've got five, two, three, four, five. Yes, we've got five book pages now, so let's have a look and see. Um, I don't want to use them. Now I'm going to be cutting them that way across, so let me just get my ruler and measure. We're again wasting time, but so what? Um, eight inches, so I could get four. Oh no, I need two and a half, don't I? Oh no, two. Two inches. I need two inches for this one, my favourite one, so I could actually get four out of that. Okay, so... We're going to be cutting this way, two inch strips, so I need to glue the book pages on that way, don't I? So, I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's start with this 
beautiful small pages. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and oh no, we glue the page because the book because that page is too big. the book okay as I said I am only doing the book pages on one side on the back I will put Rachel's straw paper so I'm just gonna hang that over slightly so that's that one and then part of me we will do this one and I'm actually going to go slightly over this one. I'm going to slightly overlap it. <laughs> yep, there we go. I'm going to slightly overlap it with that one. So I will have to add up some more glue. Oh, no I won't. <laughs> Don't have to add some more glue because that was a double page. Well, I do have to add some more glue here. But yeah, and then this one here, and I will leave that bit. I'm not bothered about getting four out of each one, I'll just leave that bit there. Okay, put that to one side. I'm going to do mass, do a, like a mass assembly line, and what's going on? Oh, them are the, <laughs> my book isn't falling apart, that's where I've just pulled it apart. Okay, so let's move on and use a different piece Ooh, like this. This is just one. Nope, oh, this is a double one. So, let's just go straight across with that then. I like that. So, actually move the book page and I'll bring in this piece of old vellum that I have. Uh, it's not vellum, it's tracing paper. I'll bring in this old piece of tracing paper glue book's not big enough to do the whole page properly and okay so glue that and like that let's do this side actually I can see the page you're going to be able to see some of the page underneath this as well so that's pretty cool so, let's put that on there Cry using these. I don't want to use them all up. I just want to hoard them forever. Well, it's a good excuse to buy some more, really, though, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's another one done. And then let's have a look. Put the way book back in there. Oh, let's use this. This is proper old. Look at this, that's beautiful colouring, is that? Oh, gorgeous. So brittle. Is this going to do though? Because it is so brittle. And it's almost the same size as well. Did I get two out of it? I could, I think. I know I'm wasting time, but... just going to fold that up there like so and tear that down there we'll glue that on there and then we'll glue that sideways we'll just have a sideways tag be right yeah so I'm not looking for perfection here, I just want to get the job done. <laughs> this is also part of the reason too. It cuts back on the thinking process. Just get it done. It's not straight, but I'm not bothered in the slightest. And which side? And 
let's go that way perfect okay so now i'm going to actually move over onto the um, music paper because i love music paper on tags um yeah so pop that over there to dry how are we doing 10 minutes nearly not bad okay so page is done all right so music paper incoming i've only got two book pages to do and then we'll do the back um and this i really don't mind which way it goes so to save time and cheat, <laughs> not cheating, but save time, I'll just go across the whole thing. So I'm really not bothered which way it goes on the music paper. Oh no, big glue goob with it. Well, at least no, it'll stick. Okay, so there. Pop that on there, give it a good burnish like so. Pop that over there to dry and then for this one I will use one of the big sheets. I like these big sheets. Although I do like these big sheets for making envelopes with but like so. I do like the big ones and they will go that way so that's cool so they will actually be the right direction now I've got a dilemma now I can use the big music or the smaller music big music smaller music oh I don't like it when this happens I think let's go with the big music <laughs> and actually to save this I'll go that way so, yeah, I'm just thinking the big music may not be as fussy when it comes to putting a vellum sticker on. So, big music, I said, didn't I? So, I need to come in a bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, and with this I'm just going to fold it in half and then just turn it down this side. Okay, so now I'm going to cut them. Let's trim them down because then I need to put the back on them, but I need to trim them down first otherwise I won't know where to cut trim that bit off actually I forgot about that so we'll trim that bit off actually we can cut them to size now I can put the backs on later so I want a two inch type donor so let's just put some more of that off take it to the mu to the pit music take it to the text Two inch. Two inch, that's going to be interesting. And two inch. That leaves us some nice strips there. And let's do this. not straight never mind that's 
better. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get that bit. And this bit. Okay, so now we want right, let's take some of that white bit off there. So then we want two inch. Two inch again, that'll be interesting. What's that? I'm going to just chop that to one and a half if I can. Which it already practically is. So we're gonna have a really tiny one there. Um Right, this side, so let's tidy that edge up, that edge is fine, let's tidy this edge up a bit. And then take some of this white edge off, it's not white, but take some of it off. And then two inch. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm reminding myself as I'm doing it. <laughs> and two inch. Oh, nice. And then I'll go this way. Let's get rid of some of this white bit. Well, not white bit, but clear it. Turn that that way and go two inch. Okay, fabulous. So I'm getting a nice little stack over here. Um, right, I'm gonna have to cut this down this way first. So, slice down there. I didn't glue that on straight at all. That's going to be rather interesting. No, I didn't cut that straight at all. Okay, mind you, it doesn't matter. What's this side that I want? So, two inch. Last one. Pretty much two. Fabulous. It's just shy of two. Okay, it's one and one and five eighths. So we'll cut that to one and a half. And we'll have two small dinky ones. Okay, so the trimmer can go away just for the time being. Um, all of that can just go in the bin. I'll fish it out and sort it later. Alright, so 
we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen two inch tags and then two smaller ones so that's going to be cool um, okay so I need to back them now onto this straw paper and I'm just going to check because I don't want this to get too thick that's the problem okay that's okay um, if it gets too thick this won't cut it but that's okay um, and just pop that in there like that okay so that's the two smaller ones I think I'm normally when I do them I cut them down to I think it's four um, no three I usually do it two by three but i think i'll keep them long for the time being you can always trim them later but i'm just going to pop them on the back of here now like so let's see how many we can get on there like that i'll get the glue book out now so what are we 23 minutes we're not doing too bad because it won't take long to decorate these with stickers after i'm keeping them very plain and simple <clears throat> yep so yeah oh i had a sickening feeling i glued the wrong book page part <laughs> side um okay So I'm just going to get all these on this sheet here and then we'll decorate and then if we have time we'll do some more because then at least I'll have a sheet full of decorated ones within the time frame. Any more afterwards will be a bonus. So because there's going to be a fair few on here. But yeah. <laughs> okay so we have some inadvertently coffee dye tags oh my gosh oh my gosh right <clears throat> the tags i'm not bothered about but my pad's over there so let's just move that out of the way <laughs> oh my god well hey ho guys let's make the most of it only us could be not bothered at all by a spillage of coffee all over our work oh my god well on the top clock is still going <laughs> oh my gosh there ain't no editing that one out then is there right okay well cool fabulous and i was doing so well okay right the tablet's fine okay pop that back up there and let's just carry on. The show must go on. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can't believe that, but that's cool. That actually looks really cool now. So, actually, I'm going to say I don't know if that will stick now because the page is wet, but we'll see. So, let's do this one, and then I think I can get one more across the bottom. So, let's do this one because this is where I kind of got half a page. Well, two halves of a page. So, we've got the join going on there. <coughs> Blue book over there. Okay, oh, it's so sticky. I hate glue stick glue, but I don't actually need that now. So let's turn that over and 
burnish as well as we can. Poor piece of sticks for the rest of the video. Oh, Amy. <laughs> I don't think them two are going to stick now because they're covered in coffee. Um, and then we're going to yeah, have to cut this way for them to sit and stick in the trimmer. not cutting that's just ripping I will leave them two to one side if we have time I'll plug my heat tool in and we'll dry them build all through the trimmer now that's fine <clears throat> right these two I'll pop over here to one side near the window and then like I said afterwards if we have time at the end I will just dry him with the heat gun. Okay. This may not be the best way for me to do this because I can't cut straight with this trimmer to begin with, but I haven't glued them on straight either, so. That's not helping. Uh, that should be okay, I've just got a two inch. <laughs> no, I'm going to move over to the scissors just to make sure I don't cut any more off than I should do. Otherwise it won't work in the punch. Okay, Ooh, 17 minutes, I think I just wasted about 5 minutes with the coffee, but yeah, and I should have my big scissors but they're in the bedroom because I've been fussy cutting, So what we've got five to play with now then. That's not too bad. Okay. In you go. Right, so let's get them in here and oh, the sticking. Oh, that didn't work. Use the other one. That's one. Oh, great. This one's sticking as well now. Two. Sorry for the noise. Let's come back to this one. I think it sticks because it's wet at the moment. No, that one we're okay. Right. And this one. There we go. Right, well, we've got four. <laughs> My goodness. Right, this one didn't work, but if we just cut that off in a straight line. We can try again. 
I think it's because that top bit was wet with the coffee so yeah right there we go okay so <laughs> we've got five to play with now in 15 minutes so and yeah so we've got three music papers and three book pages so with vellum stickers there we go so let's have a look and see first off you know what i'm gonna do yep yeah, i'm gonna round the corners on the bottom are wet well not wet but sticky <coughs> excuse me okay that makes me feel better already right so we now have them front and back i have no idea where this video cut off but as you can see i am still the clock is still counting down but yeah so and all I've done was just stuck that sticker on. That's it. I like that. So that's that one. And let's see what else. I think we could just be going with the black and white ones. That's a nice one though. But it's on the wrong side. That could have done with being at that end. Although I don't mind it on there. That's pretty. On there like that. Get the scissors though and just cut that piece off. Okay, so let's put that one on. Needs to come down a bit. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, so that's them two done. <coughs> oh, no, 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 no. Stupid. Right, that was at nine minutes and think it was 30. Just put it on nine minutes because I've just wasted a few seconds messing about. <sighs> okay so let's see what about some mushrooms maybe. I don't often use mushrooms. That'd be fun. <coughs> that one there. Okay, we're back and <laughs> the timer is still going. I had to pause video there. The type man just came and asked if I wanted a brew. Bless him. Um, but yeah, so oh, it takes like 10 minutes to get the blooming stickers undone. But as I said, the timer is still going. So I'll pop that on there and this on here. Like I said, I don't often use mushrooms. I don't know why. I just. I bought them and then I just very rarely ever use them. So I'm going to just slightly overlap that a bit. There, like that. That's cool. Um, a little 
else have we got? <coughs> Excuse me. That's not bad. Although I prefer it on that one. So, okay, so we've got two floral, two mushrooms. Let's see what else we've got. quite like them nice and simple let's see what else I've got right, I've got tickets which I don't think really I don't think they'd look right on there um, but then I've got these ram very random ones so I've got some uh, dragonflies there but keeping them for something else oh what about a birdie some bird ones. Oh, a little bird. A little birdie told me happy birthday. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, what about a birdie and a label? Yeah. Gotta have the labels, haven't we? Um, I didn't get my Tracy labels out because I don't have any. Oh, I do have vellum ones. I'm gonna say I don't have any vellum ones, but I do. I actually do have some labels on vellum. Never mind. Um, Rachel actually did say as well that if you don't have vellum, um, like if your printer won't print on vellum or you don't have vellum, you could stamp instead. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Okay, so we've got five there. We've got four minutes left ish let's just have a look and see if we can add anything else like butterflies or something to them i think that would be nice i like that there so just add a butterfly to that one and let's see about this one got some small ones oh pretty I have got some really tiny ones in here somewhere, but I could spend all day looking for them. A slightly big one, that'll do. Another tiny one, maybe. What about a set of three? I like that. I like that, so we'll have that. Okay, so <clears throat> one there. Just kind of have them going in slightly different directions. Oh, we're running out of time. <laughs> Here we go. I can't get it open. Got you. Oh, honestly, right. I've got one going that way. And this one going. Let's have it straight. <laughs> okay, I am super happy with that. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because I've got three minutes, I am just going to ink around the edges of them. <clears throat> just because to me, tags aren't done unless they're, ink unless they're inked. I'm not going to ink the back, I'm not bothered about that. Sometimes I don't ink the back anyway. But I have a thing about inking tags now. They're not to me. They're not finished if they're not if they haven't got rounded corners and they're not inked around the edge. So where's my cotton buds? I didn't. Yes, my cotton buds in there. Okay. So let's just quickly. Ooh, I feel like I'm really up against the clock now. Oh, I didn't put anything on this one. Although I quite like that one as it is anyway, so. Okay, around the edge there. And then I'm going to get my cotton bud. Cotton bud, baby bud, I'm not sure what you guys call them. And I'm going to roll it in there. And then I'm just going to roll it around the inside of the hole. 
because it just then inks the inside of the hole for you where you can't necessarily get to with your blending tool or whatever you use, ink dauber. I'm making a right messy because I'm rushing but I'm not bothered. But yeah, if you just roll it around the inside like that, it inks the inside for you. And we are done with one minute and 23 seconds to spur, which is cool. So, that's a bit big. Oh, where did that one just go to? There. I just found one here that I quite like. So. <laughs> I'm not going to get it up in time. Oh my gosh, I did. I did, I did, I did. Done. <laughs> We're done. With 43 minutes, 43 minutes, 43 seconds to spur, I have completed five tags. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool wow <clears throat> but yeah so there you go guys awesome so with 43 seconds to spare i did five managed to do five tags fully complete um and that one's looking pretty cool now where i spill coffee on it but it's not dry um because i did have time left over and you know, despite third man coming and having to pull, I didn't pause the timer, but I paused this, and I'll have to splice this together and what have you. I won't do any more on camera now, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. And there we are, time's up. So done. I'm really chuffed with that. Really, really chuffed with how that went. Even though I did spill coffee everywhere, but never mind. Um, as I said, it just added to that. That's pretty cool now. Um, I'll wait for that to dry. <clears throat> um, but I am going to love you and leave you now, guys, because, like I said, their man's just making me a brew. But we are actually also expecting visitors. So I will go now and like, go down and have my brew and wait for those to come. But, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll sort this video out as well and I'll get it up and sorted. Um, thanks for watching guys thank you Rachel for your challenge um, thank you Sharon over at Paper and Lace Moments thank you so much for your um, pep talk as such and encouraging me to do it anyway even though I'm not necessarily going to be doing it every week and what have you um, yeah just I'm really chuffed yeah so anyway thanks for watching guys take care and I'll see you all again soon bye